Hello and welcome to a bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic where I'm going to be attempting to try and do just that and crack a cryptic crossword for you. Now, what am I what crossword am I doing today? That is a very good question. Um I had a go this morning at the Times the Times crossword, and I forgot I was meant to record my solve of it, and it was a brilliant puzzle that it has since emerged was um con constructed by the compiler Tramp. Um, and I even tweeted one of the clues from this, which I'll share with you now. It's absolutely incredible. Saucy girls wanting pert bust with this. I mean, this this is one of the greatest sort of composite anagram clues I've ever seen. Uh, and the way it works is that we have to, when we read the clue, I mean, it sounds quite saucy. I mean, as as, it, as the as the first word implies, um, and it's about how a saucy girl gets a pert bust. But bust, of course, can mean to destroy. If you if something is bust, it's broken. And if we anagram saucy girls with pert, we can get plastic surgery, uh, which is how I suppose a saucy girl might get the pert bust that she's after. I mean, it's an incredible spot. Anyway, Dave Gorman, the fantastic comedian, uh, alerted me to the fact that, that, that the Times crossword was by Tramp. Now, that's hard to tell um, if you are a Times crossword aficionado because they don't publish, uh, the, the crosswords are published anonymously. However, Tramp did reveal that he is the constructor of today's Guardian puzzle. Now, we don't often do the Guardian crossword on the channel, and the reason for that is one fold. Let me show you. This, this, is, not, um, this is not the Tramp puzzle, because this is yesterday's puzzle, but if I click on it, you will see that all of the clues don't fit on the right-hand side of the screen. So as you solve them, you sort of have to scroll up and down, which is really, really, really inconsiderate of the Guardian, in my opinion, in this day and age. It should be it should be perfectly possible now to have a puzzle that you can just solve on one page, and it would be much, you, um, much better for people who want to broadcast the Guardian's crossword wares. But anyway, that's exactly what I'm going to try and do now. I hope this puzzle is by Tramp. I don't know if it... Yes, set by Tramp. It does say it is set by Tramp. If I scroll up, we can get the puzzle in the top left-hand corner of the screen and we can try the puzzle. So let's see what's going on. Um, shadow cabinet, essentially. Cutting, cutting protective clothing apron, I'm thinking. One might be fuming. I don't know, something that's on fire, but that, that can cover so many things. It could be like, you know, a volcano. Shadow cabinet, essentially. Is that saying take the S and the C? I don't know. I don't know what that is, I'm afraid. Repeatedly old bills covering up unacceptable things. Repeatedly old bill. I don't know. Afraid. Don't know what that is either. Empty the sink initially after bath floods. Okay, I have solved this one. How did I solve it? Um, good question. <laughs> well, the way I got it was I thought I saw the word empty. And remember in a cryptic crossword clue, there should be no nothing superfluous in the clue. So whenever I see the definite article used in a clue as it's being used here, the, something in my brain rings an alarm. Because this clue, if, if we deleted the word the from this clue and read it again, empty sink initially after bath floods, its meaning would be identical to its meaning with the the in it, empty the sink initially after. So I'm thinking that the is there for a reason. It must be part of the wordplay. Now the word empty suggests that we're going to empty out a word. We're going to remove its innards. And if I remove the innards of the word the, I would just be left with te. Sink initially, that's the initial letter of the word sink. So that seems to give me tes. And that's appearing after a word that means bath. Well, I didn't think of the word that meant bath, really, but I did think of a flood as being a spate. And then I can think of bath as in a spa, and spa plus T-E-S gives spates, which is definitely, I think, the answer. So that is how I solved that relatively quickly. Now, six down. Show hole under knickers briefly. Okay, right. So here, what we need... 
uh, what we need to do is to think of a word for knickers. Make sure that word appears briefly, uh, and that always means cut the end off it in crossword world. <laughs> hole. What sort of letter could hole indicate? Well, a hole could be a, an O, because an O looks like a hole. So we need a short word, a five-letter word for knickers, cut the end off it, add a zero for the last, or an O for the last letter, and it all means a show, and it's a show you might see at Christmas time, so it's going to be panto. Um, I'm not going to use the N and the O, the T starting letter looks much more interesting. Contest, to go across school with three legs, tripodic or tripodal or something. Trial could be a contest to go across oh a school of fish is a pod so try pod or oh, tripodal i think is that means with three legs obviously and then we'll try eight down more erotic sexier guide describing second threesome of bigamists <laughs> that's a <laughs> that's a surface um more erotic guide describing second threesome of big oh okay well the second threesome of the word bigamists will be a m i that's quite clever bigamists is a nine letter word so it has three you know it has three parts so i'm thinking it's got a m i more erotic steamier steer steer is a guide yes okay so steamier is the answer there very nice clue again um let's try 10 across where we've got quite a lot in prison confine i'm thinking yeah, I think that is just confine. I think in prison is confine. Conservative, I think, can be abbreviated to a con. And if something is good, it's fine. So we put confine in there. A little bit 10 down. Desire in Rod to go for every hot thing. It seems to be a reference to Rod Stewart, doesn't it? Desire, Rod Stewart would, I think, have chased after every hot thing. Hot legs was Rod Stewart, wasn't it? Desire in Rod to go for every hot thing. Hmm. Desire could be heat, maybe? Cheat. 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 I don't know. Uh, heat can appear in the word theater. I don't know, I haven't got that, sorry. 12 across, plastic toys. I'm thinking anagram of toys. With a McDonald's pli primarily, AM. So that's probably AM. Again, ask yourself, why is this indefinite article, the letter A in the clue? It would mean the same, this, if we deleted it. So it's there for a reason. Um, toys with a McDonald's primarily. Plastic. I'm thinking I want this to end foam, styrofoam or something. It's going to be a type of plastic. Sty, it's something like styrofoam. Um, oh, it probably is styrofoam because four could might be anagram fodder as well. Okay, let me just, I'm going to put this in. I've heard of styrofoam. I, th I, th I think that is what you make coffee cups out of and stuff isn't it so what this might be is the word toys anagrammed with a m and four f o r let's just try and check that four a m yeah that's that's the correct anagram for so this is crystal something is it then desire in rod to go for every hot thing hot thing is a crystal um Ah, why can't I just write that in? This is why my brain infuriates me, because it just doesn't work. 13 across, meat consumer, after replacement, so it's an anagram of meat consumer, probably, that's equivalent. Con uh, consummate or something? No, it's... Um, commensurate commensurate means equivalent doesn't it and it's a clearly an anagram of meat consumer oh it's not crystal then cry uh what is it <laughs> what is it then uh desire 
crying in rod to go for every hot thing. So, okay, I think it's going to be a hot thing is the answer. I wish I wish I knew. How well, how can I not get this? I mean, that is appalling. What is this letter? <laughs> oh, no. Ah. All right, let's try that one. S blank M in the middle. Harry or Meghan? Press. They can make words up. It's a very, uh, yeah, that's a very um, newsworthy clue. Harry or Meghan Press. Harry could be an anagram indicator. If you harry someone, you harass them. So how many letters have we got in or Meghan Press? We have 13. They can make words up. Lexic, no, um, something gruffers, graphers is what I'm thinking. Oh, no, it's not. N neologisms? No. Uh, they can make words up. Uh, some. Oh, that's infuriating again. I thought for sure that was going to be something like lexicographers. I mean, not lexicographers, but it does look like it's got graphs in it, doesn't it? G A G R A P H S. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think I'm on the right lines. I think I sort of understood how, how the clue works, just can't solve it. Um, I've got to decide where to go now. We've got 14 down, beginning with you. Less than four, education is primary. Less than four, um, education. Uh, it's less than four under... Less than four. I quite. Oh, oh, there could be to do with the answer for. Oh no, that's the lexicographer one. Uh, under. Underived. Oh, that's a nice clue. That's so clever the way that works. So. I had the idea that less than four might be under, and then I was trying to think of. I thought of four being Roman numeral IV, but but for some reason under IV just it, it it repels in my brain it doesn't feel like it can be the start of a word and then I thought of Ed and I thought of underived and I was and to me it just didn't feel like a word but of course if I say it differently I've give, if I give it different stress underived if something is underived it's original it's primary that's beautiful um, 22 across appear again united on King Charles on King Charles carries appear again well it's going to be re something united will be you rerun oh, i don't like rerun on can be re king charles carries king charles is probably cr charles rex or charles rex recur okay yeah that is so we sort of understood it just took me ages to unscramble the word play so 18 down leader of strike with nurse carer scarer okay leader of strike the word s a nurse is a carer put those two together scarer something that's shocking is a scarer 19 down a stick of wax candle initially bit of light showing okay here here it's a candle initially is this well candle initially is i think how i solved it because i thought c okay a bit of light a ray of light showing if something is showing at the cinema it's on put all that together you get crayon and that's certainly a stick of wax so not too tricky 24 across need time after spare prince harry ultimately Admit. So Prince Harry's in this one as well. Poverty. I think it's poverty. I've just, yeah, I, I can sort of see why. Okay, so what, how does this work? Prince can be P. Harry, ultimately, is the Y. It's the ultimate letter of the word Harry. So we've got P and Y admitting. So they are outside of. T for time after a four-letter word for spare. And if something is over, it's spare. So we put poverty in, and poverty is, of course, need. 
uh, oh, this is this one I don't know. Let's try. Let's try and look at this before we look at the actual uh, something iron. Uh, I want this to be some like andiron or. Ah, I can't actually think of a word that fits here, which is not. Uh, uh, it's not particularly great, is it? Let's try. Oh, I've got to scroll for this one. Grill, princess, about blocking gross press. Oh, it's, it is a type of press, I think. Hard iron, princess, princess about gridiron. Is it gridiron? Maybe. Um, a grill might be a grid. Princess about. Well, I'm thinking princess die. That's very commonly what you see in cryptic crosswords. Blocking gross. That could be gr. Yeah, and press. If you press your clothes, you iron them. So I think it's grid iron, and I think grill is the definition. We've got a reversal of princess die. Die about. Blocking gr for gross and press for iron. Now, if we scroll up, we might not have to scroll too much more, actually. 21 down. Yeah, we can actually, it's only that, that one clue that couldn't be fitted in on the screen. Um, oh, what's this? Something jumper, something desire in rod to go for every hot thing. I don't know. 15 down would be very useful. Desperately. Well, I'm seeing desperately. I'm immediately thinking anagram. And I can see beg as NHS. That looks like it just, it again, it grates in my brain. Those letters together don't seem natural. So I'm instantly thinking it's an anagram. I don't know what they're, right. So it means matters, um, which is a plural, obviously. So it is... Ah, it is matters ship the whole shebang. Goodness me. Okay, shebangs is the answer. I I don't really blame myself for pausing over that one. Um, so what's seventeen across seven five beginning with H? Spain behind when playing. So that's an anagram probably of Spain behind, which would be one letter short. Wingers back to stop. So. The back letter of the word winger is R. That's stopping. So I think that's going to be inside as a cork would stop a bottle. I think R is stopping an anagram of Spain behind with the whole thing meaning short corners. Oh, no, that's probably wrong, isn't it, actually? Um, hmm. Something... I, don't, I just don't have a clue what that is. 20 across. Chapter in short life story. Well, that'll be a bio. So might begin. Oh, it's 3-6. Bio. Oh, I don't know. For celebrity. Big. Big kahuna or something. <laughs> um, they might fly over the pond. They might fly over the pond. I wonder if that's the name of an aeroplane that you only get in America or something like that. Uh, the celebrity. It must be big something. So, chapter. Well, that's not G, is it? So, short life story might be, it might be, hmm, no, I think bio is a short word for a life story. I mean, it could be saying shorten the word bio as well. But I think things that fly over the pond, beginning with G, gnats, but we get those in England as well. Um, I don't know. I think that's big something, but I don't know what it is. 23, first part of Netflix serial broadcast. They expose lies. Um, okay, I've got this one. So the first part of the word Netflix is the N. Serial broadcast, if you broadcast and scatter the letters of the word serial, you anagram them. And if we do that, we could create the word nailers. And nailers are people who would expose lies. They would, they would 
nail you for it, but you know what I mean. Um, 25. Children play with this yo-yo seesaw. Yeah, I mean, I think yo-yo and seesaw are synonymous in the sense of if something yo-yos, it goes backwards and forwards like a seesaw. So I feel that's right. And children obviously play with a seesaw. Uh, oh, how, oh, this is another Harry for Meghan. Is this crossword? I'm just wondering how much of this crossword is... Now I realise it's awful. It's an awful lot about Harry and Meghan. Oh, that's going to make for a great thumbnail if I remember. If I can solve the puzzle, and we can, yeah, royal family start to get corresponding. Netflix serial. Oh, that's this is really clever. Grill princess about blocking gross press. Oh, it is. It's sort of a South Park type experience we're having here. I think. Right, Harry for Meghan. A looker mostly, head over heels, being in Africa. Hyena? That's something that you get in Africa. Harry for Meghan. A looker mostly, head over heels. I want to put, I want that to be hyena. I don't understand it at all though. A looker could be an eye. A looker mostly would be. EY head over heels Harry for Megan a looker mostly head over heels Harry for Megan Uh, I don't quite get that. I think it might be... Oh, big cheese maybe for this one. That would have chapter in it. C-H or C... Let's just put that in. And a geese. Oh, they might fly over the pond. Might be geese, I suppose. Or maybe... Maybe a big cheese is an American expression for a celebrity. And things that might fly are geese. So the way I think this works is bio, which is a life story, is shortened to give bi, plus geese for things that might fly, surrounds ch for chapter to give big cheese, and over the pond that would describe a celebrity, a big cheese. Not, not that easy. 16 down, royal family again, start to get corresponding. Royal family. Um, okay, I think this begins king. I haven't got it yet. But a royal would be a king. And a word for family is kin. So if we put kin and the start to the word get, that would be a G. Corris king-like? Royal king? Yeah, if something's royal, it's king-like. So king-like there. So what's this one then? Short corners. Hairpin bends. Ah! Beautiful. Hairpin bends. Let's put that one in. Hairpin bends. Let's check the anagram fodder. So I thought it was an anagram of Spain behind with R in it. It looks like it is. I, I won't double check it. Oh, so what's this then? Maybe I've spelt styrofoam wrong. Maybe it's striofoam or something. Cayenne pepper. Oh, no. Okay. Cayenne pepper is would fit. It was definitely not what I was thinking about in the context of this clue. Now why is, oh, it's a hot thing, as in a hot thing you eat. Ah, desire in rod to go for every desire. Yen in rod cane. So cane surrounds yen. Where's the clue gone? To go for... Okay, that's very, it's very cleverly worded this. Um, your amount of go is your energy. And a short word for energy is pep. And then for every, well, a word for every would be per, as in per capita, for every person. So pep, per, at the end, and a hot thing is a cayenne pepper. 
that's brilliant it's very very clever this this the wording of this whole puzzle is quite brilliant and it's got so many references to this um harry and meghan situation Look, contemporaries of Duke say scramble to protect Harry's heart. Oh my goodness. Um, terrible thing in stomach after virus. Stomach, tum, gut after virus. Um, hmm, I don't know. Okay, so I think we're close though here, aren't we? We've done basically three quarters of the puzzle. We've just got to figure out what didn't wasn't this one an anagram? They can make words up. Something mongers? Cheesemongers. Blessed are the cheesemongers. <laughs> um I bet it's something mongers. Phrase mongers? Is that a thing? A phrase monger? I think it is phrase mongers. <laughs> That is uh, not what I was expecting, but phrase mongers does seem to fit the anagram fodder. So we get phrase mongers in there. It gives us a P in this one. Shadow cabinet, essentially. Cutting protective clothing. Well, apron doesn't look so good now, does it? One might be fuming. Something pipe. Protective clothing. Shadow cabinet, essentially. Hmm, I don't know. Three down. Contemporaries of Duke, say. Peer group. Scramble to protect Harry's heart. I don't know. I really like peer group, though. Contemporaries are your peer group. Let's just try and understand how that could be right. A duke is a peer of the realm, so maybe that's just peer say it. Maybe duke say is, 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 is cluing the word peer. Scramble to protect. Harry's heart is, is, is to scramble to go up. Yeah, oh, it is actually, isn't it? If you scramble up a rock, you know, a load of rocks, you would go up them. So it's go up around R for ha the central letter of the word Harry, Harry's heart, peer group. So this does look like pipe. I won't put it in yet, but I'm sure it's something pipe. Nine across, oh, the terrible thing in stomach. Oh, bear, bugbear, bugbear. Yeah, that's right. A virus is a bug. If you stomach something, you bear it. Put those together, you get a terrible thing, which is a bugbear. Two down. Performing properly wearing clothes in gear. I think if I think in gear feels right, doesn't it? Sort of a double definition. If, so, if you're performing properly, you're in gear, and if you're wearing clothes, you're in gear. Rain pipe? No, that's not fuming. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. Hang on. Oh, repeatedly old bill. I wonder if that's O B. Covering up unacceptable things. Covering up unacceptable. Repeatedly old. Bills covering up. Taboos. Oh, that's a lovely clue. That's really good. It's the sort of clue I like because you really have to sort of think about it to understand it. So how does this work? Old is well, O, the letter O, but it's repeated. So we've got two O's, and that's those two O's. And bills covering up. Well, can we think of a three-letter word for a, a bill? Well, I thought of tab. Can you give me the tab? You'd be saying, can you give me the bill? And that, so we've got bill apostrophe S replacing, well, being synonymized as tab apostrophe S. And that's covering up our O's for old to give unacceptable things, taboos. So this must be orang which is, a, yeah, like an orangutan, which is a monkey. So a swinger, orang, calling after love. Love can be um, O, uh, which I think comes from tennis, a tennis score of love. It would be a zero score, and that's become sort of synonymized with a zero in crossword language. If you called someone, you rang them. So all I've got to do now, a tailpipe, is that something that fumes? I bet you it is. I know what I don't know about the Guardian is if I if I put tailpipe and it's wrong, will it say I've got the puzzle wrong? I don't know. I'm just going to leave the e out until I put until I think it's right. So if you okay, if you shadow someone, you tail them. Cabinet essentially 
Is that mm, is that the eye? Oh, cutting protective clothing PPE. Well, that's a that's a topic that we could all do with forgetting, isn't it? So PPE surrounds I, the the essence, the core of the word cabinet. It's heart, i.e., the letter I, which is this the middle letter that goes after tail. One might be fuming a tailpipe. Oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't mark us automatically. Oh, oh, I see. We click check. Do we check all, clear all, reveal all? I don't know. Let's click check all. I don't know what that did. <laughs> I don't think it did anything. Um, it didn't show any mistakes. Reveal this, clear this, anagram helper. Yeah, I just don't know whether it thinks. I think I have solved it. I mean, I don't think I made, I might have made a typo or two, but oh, hyena was the very, the one I didn't understand at all. I'll think about that again in a minute. Actually, if I'd remembered that before I typed in tailpipe, I, I wouldn't have left it as hyena. Right, where's hyena? 21 down. Harry for Megan. A looker, mostly. Head over heels, being in Africa. Well, a being in Africa is a hyena. That's how I solved it. A looker. You see, I'm thinking an eye would be a looker mostly. But that would all imply that Harry for Meghan is just somehow cluing the letter H. Harry for Meghan. Does she call him H? I don't know. That's possible, actually. I'm afraid I am not very good on royal gossip. Um, and knowing what Meghan calls Harry at home <laughs> is, is knowledge that I do not have. But it is possible that, it, that she calls him H. And if she does call him H, then the clue would make sense because we would reverse most of uh, an expression for a looker, which is an I. So we chop off the last E, turn that all over and we get hyena. What, what's really clever about this is how much how much reference there is to Harry and Meghan. Let's just count the number of clues that's, that could be thought of as referencing this. Um, and I might miss some of these because, you know, chapter in short life story, they might fly over the pond for celebrity. You see, I think that's referring to that new book. What's it called? Spare or something. Again, appear again united on King Charles Carries. Yeah, I wonder if that's referring to it as well. The Netflix serial definitely is. I haven't seen that, but I know that they've done a Netflix serial. Need time after Spare. Okay, Spare is the book. Prince Harry ultimately admits. I don't even remember solving this. Oh, Poverty. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? So that clue is very much referring to the recent book. Harry for Meghan. Well, that's clearly referring to Harry and Meghan. Um, royal family start to get corresponding. That's what they need to do at the moment. Um, I really like that clue, but I don't think it's to do with Harry and Meghan. And Harry or Meghan press, they can make works up phrase mongers. That's an amazing, that's, a, that's amazing that Harry or Meg, the phrase Harry or Meghan press is perfect wordplay for phrase mongers because you harry the letters of all Megan and press and you get a thing. I mean that's quite amazing given you know Harry or Megan press question mark is very is a collection of words that that are very relevant to each other. This one's clearly got reference to it. Um, yeah so there's probably 10 clues that reference something very current. That's a brilliant puzzle. That is a brilliant puzzle. Loved it tramp. So I hope you you enjoyed me doing battle with it. It was a I think it's a great crossword to learn learn from if you've not done too many cryptic puzzles.
because there's a lot of standard tricks in it um, that hopefully I was able to shed some light on. But let me know in the comments how you got on. I really enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.